Thank you for following along to the origins of mankind. Chapter four, we call ourselves mammals, but invertebrates, fish, reptiles, amphibians, birds, and mammals occupy this amazing world. And each of these different species has taken millions of years to evolve, eat, fight, survive, mate, fight again, run, repeat. Generation after generation, millennia after millennia, the strongest, fastest, smartest, and most adaptable design shall survive. That is evolution. But something isn't right with the mammal group. Somehow, a slow-moving, hairless primate with substandard senses has completely conquered all the other mammals, and conquered its environment, too. What has happened here? This doesn't make sense. Is this creature the peak result of natural evolution? No, not entirely, anyways. We humans have distanced ourselves from other mammals, including all the other primates, because we have the inexplicable desire for this, Legos. Yeah, I know. Let me explain. Our human advantage is that we love to solve puzzles, to assemble something from a pile of bricks, to figure it out, to solve it. And it's now to the point that with us, problem solving is competitive, obsessive, compulsive. Scrabble, crossword puzzles, Sudoku, the Rubik's Cube, etc. Puzzle fun is our gift, and it has given us the ability to become top dog. But the big question is, if all of us mammals, from mice to elephants, have been subject to natural evolution, then why is it that only humans enjoy puzzles, crave puzzles, even seek out puzzles to relax with our spare time? Why only us? Think about this. If Coco the gorilla were to hand out 10 of these Lego banana boxes to 10 youthful gorillas, how many of them would actually look at the picture instructions, reference the cover on the box, and then assemble the pieces together to make a banana? It's a pretty simple Lego banana. Only 16 pieces. Yeah, no. I'm not knocking the intelligence of our largest primate cousin, no. This type of experiment is entirely about the desire to solve puzzles, not the actual ability to. I searched the internet for anything regarding Legos and gorillas and I found several studies and videos that involved puzzles and primates, but everything was food training, yeah, you know what I mean. Doing puzzles for a food or drink reward. All creatures can be trained by food. But humans enjoy solving things for the pure satisfaction of the result, for fun. And it's that gift that when coupled with our hands and our tongues and our intelligence has enabled us to become top dog. But again, how could or how did our puzzle desire develop through natural evolution? What experiences in the jungle could result in our desire to solve a crossword puzzle, or to play online Scrabble, or to assemble Legos. And the puzzle desire goes beyond Scrabble and Legos. Organizing the basement is a puzzle. Assembling a multi-category Excel spreadsheet is a puzzle. Designing a better engine is a puzzle. Almost everything is some type of puzzle. And when we find a good one, unlike all of the mammals, we are inexplicably compelled to solve it. And it is satisfying. That is our unique human gift. I hope that you found this video interesting. Please like and share. My next video is The Forgotten Human Apocalypto. Thank you for following along to the origins of mankind. Our eyes are now being opened the logical story of what happened and why here on Earth only 13,000 years ago. Please enjoy my next chapter. Thank you.